Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. So I have some more breaking news for you guys. It's not looking good folks and this is not fear mongering. For all you guys who say that I'm fear mongering, don't watch my channel. Go somewhere else and look at your little puppies. But this is for people who want to know what's going on in the world. So Russia, it hasn't taken Russia long to respond to the uh, to the sweeping economic sanctions that Joe Biden has just declared on Russia. Uh, Russia now has closed the Kerch Strait uh, till October. So Russia is responding immediately to this. Uh, and Ukraine is very upset. So let me go ahead and read you this article. Hal Turner is reporting this. War News 24-7 is reporting this. Blazing Press is reporting this. And I think even Marfugel is uh, uh, getting in on the news. So all this is happening today just in the last two hours. Kurt Strait to be closed starting next week. Now the Kurt Strait is the strait in between Russia and Crimea. Crimea is right here. There is Russia. They're closing this body of water here to all maritime traffic. And um, it's right on the Sea of uh, Azov right here. There's the map. I will leave all the links. So Russia is closing the strategic Kerch Strait in the Black Sea for warships and state ships of foreign countries from next week to October 2021 closing off the Ukrainian ports of Maripol and Buryansk to traffic. And here is the official decla declaration in Russian. Uh, I know you guys can't read that, but uh, just for some of you Russian-speaking people, here is the declaration uh, uh, closing the Kerch Strait, just to show that this is not fake news. Upon that announcement, the rich uh, finally saw the writing on the war wall war is actually coming big war maybe the last war they begin to move their money into safe havens like gold as of 12 25 p.m edt gold is up 23 dollars per ounce so let me go to this uh, war news 24 7 they cover it a little bit better um hold on while it translates into english um says biden ca uh, catastrophic mistake the Russian fleet imposed a naval blockade on Ukraine is preparing for landing. Uh, uh, that means uh, they're going to try to take over Maripol and all these other uh, cities that I, I talked about earlier. They are now fortifying uh, with sandbags. It says Russia went to great lengths to impose a naval blockade on Ukraine until October, closing the uh, Kerch Strait and the Sea of Azov's. This is a dramatic ex escalation in the security situation. The mistake is 100% of Joe Biden, who thought Russia was bluffing. In the end, he was exposed and showed tremendous timidity, uh, both with the phone call to Putin and with the cancellation on the mission of American ships in the Black Sea. If he did not intend to send troops, then he should have uh, not prepared Ukraine for war. He said the Russian movement now ensures zero commercial presence of foreign ships in the case of military action. This is a pure act of war and is treated as such by international law. No country can impose a naval blockade on the other except in a state of self-defense. We had mentioned that these areas are a target of a Russian landing. Recently, there was a protest in Ukraine from the restriction of free navigation. And Blazing Press is reporting, he is live right now, he is saying that Russia has given the United States six days to remove the NATO troops off of their border. That is Blazing Press. Uh, you can go over there and check his uh, live chat he just finished. But he's saying that Russia has just given United States warning to NATO to remove their troops uh, within six days. He said uh, it closes the Kerch Straits until October. Russia closes the strategically important Kerch Straits on the Black Sea for warships and foreign ships until October of this year, 2021, closing the Ukrainian ports of Maripol and uh, uh, Buryansk. So Russia plans on taking over these two uh, cities uh, in Ukraine and closing Ukraine off completely to the Black Sea. Um says reactions to Ukraine are not happy. So the Ukrainian foreign ministry has reacted strongly to the announcement of a Russian naval blockade of the Kerch Strait and the Sea of Azov. Kiev demands the immediate termination of the decision and the cancellation of the illegal naval quarantine in the waters of the Black Sea. So I will leave these links in the description box. The news is coming in so fast that you cannot keep up with it, but it does look like that we are going to war unless Joe Biden and NATO backs down. Uh, so this is, uh, 
You know, this is not fake news, folks, and I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm giving you the breaking news that is coming in hour by hour, and you guys need to think about uh, what uh, preparations that you have made, maybe some emergency plans. Um, just have food and water on hand, canned can food, bottled water, uh, get you a porta potty, get some plastic rolls for your windows and duct tape. Um, you know, we just need to trust in Jesus. So, uh, but it does look, you know, it, it doesn't look good. And I don't think anybody's going to back down, but anything could happen. Uh, so I just want to keep you guys updated. Remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. He's coming back soon. And he did prophesy that all these things would come to pass before he returns to the earth. So God bless you. And we'll try to keep you updated if any else, any more breaking news happens. Bye-bye.